Hello again. So, today was pretty good day. Well, I mean, all the days would be good, but I mean, this was like especially good because today uh, we actually had a couple adults, the adult class, so I actually got to lead a class properly for the first time all on my own. Like, do everything. So, I did the warm up and uh, I took everyone through the techniques and everything. And, um, well, I've kind of done it before when I covered someone else's class. But I only really worked with two people. We actually had four people turn up. <clears throat> Three of them are people who are already, like, beginners who have started with other classes and they just sort of came along. But someone who's, like, brand new. So I uh, focused on him a little bit more. Like, me personally doing the things with him. The techniques and whatnot, but yeah, it went really well, as well as I could have hoped. Everything, yeah, everything went fine, no issues. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself in that sense that I managed to do it, and it went really well. Um, we also we had more students in the junior and kickboxing as well so everything's a bit bigger the juniors we had about five students and then the ladies kickboxing we had six so overall numbers are on the rise still which is good it's really nice so as far as what I've learnt today what I'd say uh, just that I can actually do it, I suppose. Yeah. You you know, when you, you do something new or something outside your comfort zone, you've always just got these, like, the voice in your head, the doubts and everything. Can you really do it? Are you up to it? <laughs> Are you really good enough to be doing this? And I think I've completely smashed all that stuff out of the way with um, how it went today I can definitely do it 100% and do it pretty well I think everyone seems happy um, so it was quite interesting I've, I've been I finished that audiobook the cy psycho cybernetics one and it was really interesting I think uh, anyone should read it or listen to it and um, I think that helped me out because I, I managed to maintain a relaxed conscious state of mind throughout the whole thing I didn't get panicky or overthink anything I was just in a relaxed state of mind because I've already, I already I've got like seven years of experience doing this martial art so I just let all that subconscious stuff flow out of me um, and it worked really well and I didn't have any issues or anything, I didn't forget anything, I didn't get embarrassed in any way, I didn't screw anything up it's as much as I could ask for so I've definitely learnt that uh, I can do it and that's really encouraging moving forward and trying to see how far I can get, how much better I can get and where I can improve. So I suppose <clears throat> when it comes to improvement, something for next time, I think uh, when I, I finished that book, Business of Martial Arts, and it's really good, it's got loads of different advice and potential ideas, ways you can make your school better or grow it or if it's just starting out, the best way to get things off the mark quickly. And uh, I think <clears throat> there was something in that that I thought I could work on maybe next time, which is just to deliberately call the students by name every time I interact with each one. Uh, it just makes everything a bit more personal, helps me get to know them a bit better, 
I think it's good to actually really get to know your students and get on well with them and be able to get on really well with them outside the school or the class as well. Uh, I don't know if I'd have troubles with names or not, I'm not sure. Uh, I like to think I'd be okay at remembering them, but I'm going to have to try and deliberately focus on calling them by name and learning what their names actually are, because <laughs> just you, I think it'll feel a bit bad, feel a bit impersonal. I struggled to actually, I didn't know what the students' names are and everything, so uh, yeah. That's probably what I'll work on next time deliberately and go forward. You know, I mean, I'm still working on things like the encouragement side of stuff. I'm trying to think of more things or potential phrases that I could say. Uh, my sensei said that he would uh, give me a list of uh, good phrases <laughs> just so I can have something instead of. Uh, always saying the same sort of thing, it's still encouragement but you know, and just the, the same again, raising the energy levels up, particularly in the kickboxing, it doesn't matter that much in the adult class, the junior class is all hyper and high energy, um, adult class is not so much, so it suits me better, and, uh, but the kickboxing is a, a bit more uh, high energy, uh, but I don't think it'll be too much, it'd just be a bit more uh, not just pure encouragement but like the, the way you, you do it like the things you say and other stuff like that <clears throat> and uh, what is it uh, knowing how to critique them and improve things they're doing while also disguising it so you're not just like being all negative and making them feel like the rubbish so you you compliment them first, tell them what's going wrong and how you can fix it, and then after they try not, have tried it a few times, you're like, yeah, that's great. So, three stages to try and get through like that. Uh, so overall, really good day. I'm feeling pretty good about moving forwards. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, as far as everything else that's happening, I did finish this book, like I said earlier. It is really nice, nice. Uh, plenty of good stuff in it. Lots of good ideas, general advice, formulas for how to market, and good ways of starting a new class or timetabling how to like create a good s uh, set of staff and manage it all it's all really interesting stuff <coughs> uh, so I'm on this one now now I've already got through quite a large part of it because it's not actually that long it's quite easy to get through quickly and I'm trying to deliberately slow myself down a bit with it but I mean there's like a whole third of the book, or is it almost like a whole third of it, is dedicated to showing you how to do the first form as like a, a kind of a kata of Wing Chun. Uh, and it's like over 300 pictures <laughs> demonstrating each step by step bit. So that takes, that's easy to get through. It's pretty easy to digest, there's a lot of pictures in it demonstrating each manoeuvre so you can get through it quite fast uh, so yeah next by next week I'll probably have already been through all this already I'm trying to really think about and analyse everything I'm annotating stuff trying to go through it and digest it properly <clears throat> and then I'm going to try different things out stuff that I've had the look of I'm going to do some experimentation with it and see what I like and what I don't like. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's about everything for 
this week pretty much. Pretty <laughs> Yeah, it's good. The uh the classes are going well. The adult class is really nice. Good bit of uh self esteem boost in a way. So yeah, that's everything for this week I suppose. Goodbye.